Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about the generation of random variables. So we have already studied different types of distributions. We have studied the uniform distribution, the normal distribution, gamma, beta distributions. And um, in this video I'm going to focus on only two types of distributions. So suppose that we want to create a uniform random variable uh, or a random variable that has a uniform distribution. To do that, um, again, you have two ways, as you have seen in my previous videos, you have two ways of, of creating um, or you have two ways of using Stata. You can actually type the commands right here and you get the results in front of you. Or the other way which I prefer is to create a do file where you save all your commands and um, you just click run and then all the commands will be executed at one, all at once. Uh, I prefer this way because it's more professional way and then in the future if you want to use it in an assignment or if you want to use the do file in an, in an assignment or an exam or in your like in your job in general uh, you don't have to start from scratch every time given that you're using a similar um, do file so um, so what we're gonna do is uh, by now you already understand what is the clear command set more of and then you set your path of course this line would be different in your case than my case because I'm saving I, like I have my own um, um, folders on my computer so make sure that you change this one to match your own path on your computer whether it's the library computer or your uh, or personal desktop or your laptop um, I'm creating a file that I call it random var which is the random variable dot log which is basically a text file that would save all my results and this is very important as I told you before because uh, if you have to submit your assignment, all what you need to do is just to submit your log file uh, because the log file is simply a text file that would have all the results and codes included. So let's start. Um, as you can see, we don't have any specific uh, data set. We are going to create our own data set. We are going to create random variables. So I might create a random variable that is different than yours because this is just a random variable. So I ask Stata to just generate for me a set of random variables. All what I need is to set my number of observations. So I ask Stata to create uh, 2,000 numbers that are randomly selected. So my own 2,000 numbers or 2,000 observations are going to be different than my class name, my other classmate, or um, the other student in class because it's just random. Each one of us would get a different set of 2000 numbers. To make sure that we all get the same number, we have a command which is called seed command. We need to set the seed command. So setting a seed command is basically giving a code to Stata that we all need to get the same the same 2,000 observations. Let's say the observations start from 1 and ends at whatever number, let's say 50. So all of us, we need to have the, the same numbers that start, for the, the same list of numbers that start from number 1 equal to number 50. Uh, this number is just a big number, any big number that you can choose. So you can put this one, any other number. So I decided to put like 10, 10, 1. Okay, so if you use the seed code as 10101, this would guarantee that you will get the same set of random variables I have. Okay, so uh, after that, I'm asking you to generate a uniform distribution random variable or a random variable that is uniformly distributed. We generate, so we use the generate command. We call it any name, you can actually call it your name, but I prefer to call like x1 and x2 and x3 and so on. And make sure that you have a description of what you're doing here in green. Uh, and again, in green it will not be executed in state. 
just tell Stata that I want a uniform distribution. Okay, so let's run this code all the way up to here. So we are generating x1. We want to see this x1. So list would allow you to see it. We have 2000 observations, right? And then if you go all the way up, up, you should be able to see all. And sometimes you won't be able to see all because it's a long list. And But the good thing is, sometimes if it is like too long, like this is 2000 only, what, what if it is 20,000? The 20,000 will not be displayed here, but you would be able to see it when you go to your path and find it in, so in my case, let's say I would go to uh, iCloud and then I would go to my documents and then I would go to my data files and then I'm going to find it right here. Okay, so you just follow your path and you will have, you will be able to see it, to, to see it in your uh, folder okay so so we did a uh, list command we did list it okay and then what if I want to see the histogram of this uniform distributed it looks uniform random variables that are uniformly distributed and this is how a uniform distribution would look like so we're good up to now next what if I want to generate a variable that has a normal distribution? So we're going to generate another variable, we call it x2, that is r normal, random variable normal. Uh, we're going to take this uniform distribution and use it to create an, uh, the uniform distribution to use it to create a normal distribution, random variable, and we call it x2. Okay, so after we do that, you can list it and see the graph. It looks normal, right? So it takes the bell shape normal distribution. 